Okay, so here's one of those first swings I made. So what are we seeing here? Well, I'm pleased to say it's got no alerts. You can set various, various alerts in the app that tells you when your club gets out of position. Remember, what this is doing is monitoring your club in space. You move the club, the club hits the ball. So your ability to move correctly and get a full understanding of where that club is and what it's doing during the arc. So as I scroll back here, I'm going to take you back to the first reference point. You see we're 12 degrees closed there from vertical. That's my club face. I can tap in and zoom in on it. And that's a pretty good neutral position as far as we're concerned in the golf swing. Tap out again. I can scroll here and look at the swing in three dimensions. I can twist it, view it from above. View the swing in its entirety, seeing the path, the journey the club takes back and through. You can see I'm going wider back here and then narrowing and creating a bit of lag. So it's checking all these reference points as I go along. I can simply do that if I just do the drop down menu. It's giving my club head speed, 80 miles an hour. My swing tempo, 3.7 to 1. My shaft lean, my shaft angle at address, my takeaway angle halfway back. So let's look at that. So takeaway angle halfway back, I've taken it 4 degrees outside. So that's just 4 little, almost millimetres outside there of the ideal or neutral position. Going back to the Alerts again, I can look at the face angle halfway back as I said. We can scroll to the top, look at my face angle at the top, 44 degrees, so that's very neutral there. Then coming back down, I can look at where the club and the face angle is in the downswing. So I'm back to 15 degrees here, that means I'm just squaring that club face up nicely on plane. I mentioned plane because we've got the other feature. If I scroll here now down the menu, I can go to plane. And if you remember way back to Ben Hogan's book in the 50s, he talked about these sheets of glass that he felt he swung in relation to. The bottom one represents, if you like, the original shaft plane, the angle the club sits when we start. The top one is the shoulder plane, where the club should swing in this corridor. And you'll notice here at the top it's turning a little bit red, because one of my tendencies is to get the club a little bit steep in the backswing. I blame that for copying Johnny Miller when I was a kid who had a steep backswing so I'm not taking any responsibility so that's what's happening there in the backswing and then I'm bringing it back down in the slot in that plane and delivering it again I can see that my clubs moving in a neutral shape now let's go to one of those swings I made before that wasn't looking very pretty go back to the swing so now you can see here I've picked that club this was the last one where I've picked the club outside and steep it's 23 degrees close this time getting up too steep and then coming across the golf ball here. Compare that with this swing. That was the second swing I made. Notice how I'm rolling the club face open. So it's 24 degrees open there, way, way open. So a good instructor would see that on video and be able to show you certainly on video, but this just makes it a little bit more powerful. We've got values, the club's way, way flat. Now I'm going to reroute it, twist it, not a bad face position then I twist it and come over the top and you can see now I'm coming outside the golf ball maybe if we look at that in plain view you'll certainly see what happens the clubs going red look way behind the face is wide open you see there wide open coming back into the zone now it's crossed the line now it's coming over the clubs gone red again that means I'm in the danger zone I've swung out of the corridor really I should be swinging in and chopping across the ball we can look at other data so if I go back to swing mode again we could compare those three swings let's go down to the full data table so now we can look at these swings 80 miles an hour 79 miles an hour 75 miles an hour club head speed my hand speed similar my tempos have changed a little bit but certainly key things remember I said it's the path and the face that are very key so you can see the face angle halfway back I've gone to 23 degrees out here then face angle 23 degrees open coming down so those really aren't great positions uh, coming back so this full data table allows the professional and you to police basically what's going on in the swing so again going back to this poor swing look at this club face 24 degrees open from the vertical but now is a real great little tool let's assume you're working on your swing and you change these if I went into here to my first swing I've got the facility to compare these two swings so you can see here that the red one was the one I swung back online and correctly and look at the 
blue one way behind me, 36 degrees more open in that backswing. And then I'm going, you can see the planes are patently different. You can see here that they're in a different place, way, way separated. Then kind of getting closer but across the line. Now they're starting to deliver similarly. We can see the blue one is way over the top. So when you're making on subtle changes on your swing, you can compare what you did at the start of your practice session with the middle and the end of your practice session. You can actually genuinely see improvement. And when you do that, if we deselect it, you're able to save them. You can make notes. You can pop text in here to um, make some details of what was a good swing and what was a bad swing. Save your favourites and so on. Now another great tool which we're going to introduce you to now is the groove mode. This works in certain areas of the swing. We know I got slightly across at the top. So I'll be able to set some parameters here with the club. So I'd like to see the club a little bit more left at the top. So if I go to next, this gives me this corridor I really want to swing in. Once I hit 10 of these spots and do it correctly, I can then move to silver from bronze, then finally to gold. So that allows me to groove and really improve my action.